this past week held um, held the opponent, held UTSA 205 yards total on 13 offensive series. Break that down, they're picking up less than 15 yards every set of, every time they get the ball. Can you talk about how, you know, how big an accomplishment that is for your defense? Uh, I think it boosts their confidence a lot. We've, we've been playing really hard, and that was no exception on last Saturday. Uh, I'm proud of our effort all season, and it, it really showed this past weekend. It was one of those games that was kind of nice to be a defense coordinator. It's, you know, you know anything you dial up, it's, it, it was successful. So, uh, you know, that was a nice feeling, you know, just to come away. And I've been in some games where, shoot, what are we going to call? What can we do? And last week wasn't the, was, you know, the exception to that. And, you know, it was just in a comfort calling zone. And, you know, they were executing well and they were playing hard. And, you know, and it worked out well for us. Well, there's a couple plays that broke out of there for tackling. You know, we didn't, you know, there was that long run that kind of stuck a dagger in your heart when, you know, it busted out of there. And, uh, you know, we missed a couple tackles. We didn't fit it properly. Our defensive end was supposed to be inside the tight end and wasn't. And so as a result, it pops to the second level. And there you've got to do a good job of tackling. And we didn't. Uh, you know, I didn't think we executed as well on third down as we had in previous previous weeks, and uh, you know, and that was a tribute to them. You know, the quarterback was a good scrambler. He, you know, when his first option wasn't open, he, instead of looking he, for a second or third, he was pulling it down and running, and we knew that. And uh, you know, we didn't corral him on one or two plays, and you know, we just kind of didn't play as tight as we 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 should have on third down. So we've got to improve that this week. And, you know, there's always little things that you're going to clean up weekly. You know, you're never going to play a perfect game. And we certainly didn't play perfect, but we played pretty well. How can you carry this momentum and also improve going to Charlotte? I think it's the same message that we deliver, you know, every week is, you know, th this is the beginning of a new week. It's the same as it was at Mississippi State in week one is how you prepare. And it doesn't matter the opponent that you're playing. It's the preparation that is, you know, leads to your performance on Saturday. It starts, you know, started last night and how well they prepared all day today watching film on their own and studying the opponent. And there's there's no secrets to, you know, how you play on Saturday. It's how you pr prepare all week long. Well, they're first of all, they're extremely multiple, multiple personnel groups, uh, multiple formations, multiple plays, and that causes you problems just because there's so much stuff to prepare for, uh, and they're also they're also a extremely high tempo offense. They've been running a lot of plays, so you know that you know with you know just trying to get everything fit and prepared for is the biggest challenge that they give us this week and you know they got a pretty good running back that's you know they got two running backs that run extremely hard and uh, just their different personnel groupings you know we've got to match up well against them. The last couple of years uh, I guess you and the team and Coach Monk and you all learned about a lot about yourselves because of the losses and how you guys respond to that this year four wins kind of on charter territory how have you seen your guys respond to the wins? Confidence uh, it's kind of nice to go out on a Sunday night knowing that you, you know, you got a little bounce in your step. You feel a little better about yourself, and uh, you know the, the 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 message that you deliver is no different than the message that we delivered last season. Is you know you got to prepare just like you won by 50 or you lost, and uh, you know it all comes into your preparation. And so uh, we're com you know they're a confident group. They've been confident all season, and. Uh, we're an older group. We're a m more mature group, and uh, that's a lot of fun. Especially as, you know, as it carried over last weekend, you know, there were times that you know you see what you really worked on during the week, and and the players execute it very well, and that's that's a real positive sign for us. And you know, it's a comfort to a defense coordinator knowing that the stuff you're working on, they're they're getting. So uh, I'm excited about this group. Five yards to the opposing offense, and 
five sacks or whatever it was and a bunch of tackles for loss. Uh, great for the defensive line. Quarterback only had six completions the whole game. How much of that is the secondary, you know, doing their job down the field to you know, play? Our secondary's played pretty well. We, you know, we've that's one of the areas I think you know we've we've got some experience. Kalen Reed's been playing really well for us this season. Uh, you know he was our player of the game last week. He had a bunch of breakups and uh, you know and he's a matchup. You know we feel comfortable putting him on just just about anybody. Uh, so that matchup you know we feel good about and Cornell's playing well and we've got a couple safeties now. We got you know Foster back and Truly back and Picasso's really playing well and. Obviously, Daenerys Antoine's all over the field, so the back end is is an, is a big improvement from last season. Just their confidence and how they're playing, and but it always starts up front. Uh, you know, that's you know, if you're getting after the passer, you know, the guys don't have to cover as long. You know, they're forcing errant throws. You know, they might not be sacking them, but they're still altering the follow through. They're still, you know, altering his steps, how he steps up and plays. Even, you know, even if they're close, he can't follow through with his arm the right way. So, you know, that's what we've been preaching all season long is, is not necessarily do you need to get the sack, but you need to get disruption in the pocket. And uh, our guys have done a pretty good job of that. Uh, you know, it, it's play the next play, and uh, and and kind of relish the chance to get out there and, and play again. Because if you know this is a game, and you're supposed to enjoy being out there and enjoy the challenge of trying to def defend the opponent, and uh, you know, and I thought our guys last weekend did a great job of it. We had a couple sudden changes, and they, you know, they didn't produce any points from those sudden changes, and that's kind of the attitude that that uh, coach has been preaching is, hey, play the next snap, spot the ball, we'll play against anybody. No matter where you put it down, we're going to defend as hard as we can and make it tough for you to get in the end zone. You've gone against several quarterbacks who have run the ball. Uh, what about the Charlotte uh, Not quite as athletic as the ones we've played, I don't think. And there's, you know, but he is athletic. They, they've played a couple quarterbacks, you know, this season. so. Uh, but they all are, you know, they're all going to run it. They're all running it nowadays. And, uh, and it doesn't matter if they're, you know, a 4-5 or a 4-8, you still have to defend it. And, uh, you know, and that causes you some problems. You know, you got to make sure that every blitz that you dial up has a quarterback-friendly component to it. And, uh, you know, so it's, you know, they, they do just enough with them to, to make you stay honest. Yeah, we it was a point of emphasis. He was, you know, in, in critical situations, he was there. We felt he was their go-to guy, and uh, we challenged our guys. We thought that, you know, teams and they were playing him before really weren't putting an emphasis on him, and he was catching a fair amount of balls in big situations. So, you know, we wanted to match up a bigger guy on him, especially when he was inside. But, you know, he he was a, a pretty good athlete with great body control, and he'd go up. And so we felt when he was on the perimeter, we would we were going to check to a different coverage with him out there. We didn't want the matchup of a linebacker out covering a number one spot. Uh, so, and then that usually fell, you know, in the hands of Kalen Reed when he was out there, and Kalen defended him a couple times. So, uh, it was a point of emphasis, and our guys did a good job of executing the plan.